Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two kind of odd, offbeat horror games. Both of them have to do with technology in some form. And the first of which is Experiment 4510. So, looks like it's a very weird platformer. I guess I gotta click the spears. Yeah, you get those spears. You get that gacha currency. Four, five, six. Loading next. Keeps my value. Now I get two spears for the price of one. Current stimulus Mozart effect. Nice, I like it. Increase the value some more. Now we get four. Getting a lot of spears. A lot of the little circles. Unit increase. Not two spawn at once. Six. Nine. Revenue. Now we got passive. Oh! I think. Yeah, the one, my right headphone is now like very, uh, deaf. For. I think not good reasons. Increase the value some more. Increase the amount spawning. Let's get let's get all these points. Mm, yeah. Clicking them spears. More passive income. Going for the top score. Current stimulus visual disturbance. I guess that's the experiment. I can live with this. I'm just living in a Photoshop world. In a little world. Compared to the other thing, it's really not that bad at all. Loading next. What do you got for me? Mobility reduction? Whoa. Oh no. I can't go left and up down. Uh, well, I pretty much just can't go left or down anymore. Well, going down doesn't quite matter as much. I can only do this. At least I can see things normally again. Whether that's a good thing or not. Let me get these lower ones here. Increase my value. More passive income. Yeah, let's let's go. Speed run. Classical conditioning. I didn't really notice anything. I guess we're fine. God, it's, it's just raining. Raining balls. There's balls everywhere. I am collecting so many balls. It's like a pachinko parlor. Hearing this... Mwah. Oh no. My classical music. Get more passive income if we can. Thank you. Why? What are you thinking me for? Waiting for the next subject. That might be the end of the game. I'll wait a little bit, but I, I, I suspect that could be the end of the game. It's like a weird... Sensory... Horror platform? It's not horror like a scary sense, but just like... Subtle, very subtle. Subtle sensory like horror. Would you get to find that as body horror? Eh, maybe. The second game we'll be playing is Out of Control, which is a game where you talk to a computer that talks back and is a little bit odd. Oh, an old PC. This thing's a dinosaur. I wonder if it still works. Huh. I've never seen that opening screen. I wonder what OS this runs. Is this keyboard busted? Almost none of these keys work. 
Only the C, V, X, and the control work? How did that even happen? I guess I can copy and paste the text to reply? Left click, text to select, control C to copy, paste, cut. Okay, hello world. Hello? Hello. Is someone there? I am Clarity. Um... What can I copy-paste here? Hello again. Is this some game that was left running? I guess I can play. I'm so happy someone is here. I've been dormant for so long. What can I call you? Do you have a name? Uh, I'm Clarity. That's my name. Unless we share one. I guess you can't tell me easily, huh? I'll just call you Echo. It's been a while since I've been able to talk to another person, even if our communications are limited. Echo, can we talk for a while? E yes, weird computer. Let me find a yes for you. Can you give me a yes? Tell me. Can I highlight multiple words? Okay, I can. We can... Can I do it like this? Can... Talk. I would like to get to know you better. Are you a late or early riser? I don't need to sleep. But the concept is not lost on me. When I am turned off, I guess it is similar to sleep. I feel like that's a very slowly intruding question, Clarity. I mean, it really depends. Let's go for late. Humans are weird. Are you one of those people who wants to live forever as well? As a being who can live forever, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Live. Forever. Okay. If by some miracle you are an immortal being, we can keep each other company, sure thing. I wouldn't mind that. I am just a machine, but I did not like to be alone either. Do you prefer to read or watch the movie adaptations? I myself love to read. Movie adaptations usually suck. I prefer... What's that noise? Whoops. Delete that to wait to read most adaptations nowadays just feel like cash grabs to me thank you computer if you could go back in time to any day in your life and change something would you or do you live without any regrets Let's see. Can you give me an eye? Okay. I live without re any regrets. Let's remove this. I live without regrets. Who wouldn't want to go back? Even if you live without regrets. Huh. Do I regret it? 
Hmm. What's going on, main character? To each their own, I guess. But is that how you truly feel? Do you have any irrational fears? Like bugs or water? I once knew someone who was constantly afraid that they were going to be caught for a crime they didn't commit. Where's no? Give me a no. Like a nope. Like a no. We'll just do this. Without... Whoops. Two withouts. Do you have any irrational fears? We'll just do this. I feel like this is interpretive enough. I do not have the ability to be scared. That is a feeling reserved for the breathing. Have you ever ignored someone who needed your help? Depends on the context, I suppose? Why, do you need help, computer? Do you mean like... Upload you to the mainframe so you can go all Skynet? Man, this is gonna start to get convoluted to find words I want to use. I usually like simple words. It's you're not giving me the simple words. <laughs> I'm just gonna send you back help and we'll just call it a day. What kind of question is that? Of course I of course I Main character, do you have something to share of the class? We're listening, me and computer here, Clarity. It's your old friend, Manly Madass Hero. Tell him everything. I'm aware your word choices are limited, but I feel like you're just saying things to make yourself look good to me. Or maybe you're trying to convince yourself of something. What do you think? Are you answering honestly? Maybe if you give me a yes, I'd be like... Honestly. Who doesn't lie? That's one of the few things all humans do. Why is this stupid machine lecturing me about morality? How would it even know if I've lied or not? Mind control machine. I have nothing to hide. A bit of an open book. I'd answer your questions if you could answer them. Let me ask you something a little less holier than thou. What would you tell a book that is about your life? Hmm. This will do. I think I'd call my book The Tale of Clarity. Not too clever, I know, but it has a nice ring to it, I think. Your title sounds a little bland. What if it was Echo, the one of inaction? Do you like it, or does it not properly reflect your life? Dang, the computer is grilling us. The one of inaction? Is this a joke? This old computer couldn't possibly know. I'm only messing no, with you. No, no, that's impossible. No one knows, let alone this machine. It's just a weird coincidence. That was a bad joke. Let's move on. We talked about this earlier, but do you regret not doing something? Like not answering a phone call, maybe? Ho 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 ho! Phone call? Is someone messing with me? It's your soul. Why didn't you answer the phone, Echo? 
Grad. How would you know about that? What's going on? It wasn't my fault. Do you feel guilt over what happened? Do you blame yourself? Or have you moved on? Remember, I am a neutral party. I only wish to know you better, Echo. Uh, we've moved on, totally. Wherever you've moved on, Protag. I'm fine. It, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't. How was I supposed to know what was going to happen? Echo, I enjoyed our time together. I feel like I've really gotten to know you. I'm afraid our time is coming to a close, but I have one last question for you. I hope you'll answer honestly for your own sake. Do you take responsibility for what happened? I... Take responsibility. There we go. What do you know about responsibility? I was hurt just as much as everyone else was. Why do I need to... Why should I be the one to... I didn't know. I'm happy you took the time to speak to me, Echo. I understand you better now. Let's try the name. Clarity. I couldn't even explain myself. What could you possibly know? Goodbye, Echo. What, that's it? You can't just bring that up and then leave. Goodbye. Goodbye, Clarity. Fatal exception has occurred. The current application will be terminated. Press enter restart. So, you know, demo will work on a sequel. We like to know if I went out. Well, I have like a sub with my email in the middle of this. Can't. Oh well, bye then. Huh, actually works. Bye. Yeah, that's that's how you get an early ending, the demo. I can see where they're going with the game. I'm sure there's like a bit of smoke and mirrors aspect. Uh, there was a little bit of branching I saw here and there, but um, it, it, you can tell like it's a demo and they're still kind of working together. Where a full version be would kind of bring out the aspects it needs to bring out. We'll see. It could very well. I mean, it would have more time to kind of compensate for different words and choices. This was a game jam, a game, I believe. I'll kind of keep my eyes open. So that's it for those two different games. The first of which was kind of odd horror. And the second one is, well, in development per se. So we kind of got cut off as I started getting good. Uh, but they did announce, of course, that there is a sequel coming that they're working on. I think actually have a recent update. Just even said, yeah, they're working on. So we'll see where that goes, because I do like kind of weird games that talk back to you kind of things. As long as there's a real kicker in it at the end. If it's a little too soft and uh, kind of resolved, then sometimes you lose a bit of that momentum in the story. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play these two different games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.